Hey everyone, it's Shiana Lama of It's a Crypto, where we keep you in the loop on all the latest trends and news of crypto and blockchain technology. Together, we're building a crypto movement that fetches climate justice and economic empowerment. We're in the other location today with the nice camera equipment. It's a rainy day in New York City today. Um, today, I have some more amazing news for the Algorand community. Anybody who's a lawyer out there, I know there's some of you out there, and anybody who's interested in blockchain law, some exciting news happening in San Francisco, where I'm from. Here's the article. Golden Gate University School of Law and Algorand Foundation announced creation of Blockchain Law for Social Good Center. The Blockchain Law for Social Good Center is going to be the very first of its kind at an American law school. So the Algorand Foundation is going to be working in San Francisco to help this all get started. So they have three main pillars. Those are their values. It's education, community, and research and policy. So through those main three pillars, they're going to um, have a really robust blockchain education center, and it's going to help the next generation of policymakers, lawyers, and community members that are going to be at the forefront of blockchain technology. And um, blockchain technology is really at its infancy still. There's a lot of legality questions about it. So having the center is really going to help clarify that and figure out um, like what laws do we need and how do we make sure that this booming industry is um, has the proper laws that doesn't um, like hinder the growth of the industry too. I personally love that they're working with the Algorand Foundation. They're receiving a $300,000 grant from them and this is going to ensure that they're going to be using blockchain technology for social good and working on projects that benefit the public. And that's personally why I love Algorand too. They are one of the most sustainable, um, environmentally friendly blockchains being a carbon negative blockchain. And a lot of people in the Algorand community too, it's all about the use cases. It's not just about like mooning Algorand or like making as much money as possible. It's all about um, using a practical blockchain, something that can be used for generations to come and something that we can develop on to really solve real world problems here. Hugo Krachik, the principal researcher and head of the Algorand Centers of Excellence program said, the blockchain law for social good center is an excellent example of the multidisciplinary application possibilities for blockchain technology while also promoting social impact projects. The project will become a hub for blockchain law and a valuable resource, not only for lawmakers and lawyers, but also for government agencies and startups. Professor Michelle Knights will serve as the faculty director of the center. She said, blockchain developers are quietly creating revolutionary projects that remedy existing inequalities, particularly related to financial inclusion. However, until lawmakers have a more comprehensive view of blockchain and crypto, the industry will suffer from regulatory skepticism. Professor Knights is an active member of the California Blockchain Working Group, and she's hoping that this law center is going to really accelerate our understanding of blockchain technology and really guide startups and a lot of new organizations in California and beyond on blockchain technology. And I think we're going to have sounder laws and I think just having this whole information hub is going to educate the public more too. So we'll see. I think with more professors and more academics understanding blockchain technology, we're going to have a more balanced blockchain and crypto regulatory scheme. I think right now, I mean, I mean, if you've been following us before, we have a whole playlist on crypto and blockchain regulations and legislation. And a lot of politicians right now and people creating the laws on blockchain technology are really, really ill-informed about it. So by having professors and people who are actually researching this stuff and having a whole center in San Francisco in the law school, I think this will really bridge the gap of information. And by having lawyers and people who are um, comfortable talking to with the politicians and people who the politicians are comfortable talking to, I think this will be a better space. Um, and yeah, we're just really bridge the gap between the crypto community and the legal authorities still. California State Controller Betty T. Yi also expressed her hopes for the potential of the new center. She said, As a GGU alumna, I'm excited about the establishment of a blockchain law for social good center. I look forward to working with the center's team to ensure equity and inclusion and achieve the broadest public benefit as this nascent industry and the application of its technology become more widespread.
the Algorand Foundation is really committed to creating more transparent and inclusive technology. And they're hoping with the center that they can create um, a more borderless economy and really help make blockchain technology accessible for more people. So I'm really excited to see this continue to grow in San Francisco, my hometown, and I hope this is going to be the start that more universities, more law schools um, around the U.S. and beyond, around the world, too, are going to have more blockchain centers to educate our lawmakers and also educate the students and the communities that surround them. But that's it for us today. Feel free to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts. Feel free to share this with your friends if you enjoyed this content. Um, check out our other legal video about the legality of NFTs if you enjoyed this too. And I'll see you next time, everyone. Bye.